Hi, welcome to another mini professional development video by the West Virginia Behavior Mental Health Technical Assistance Center. The TA Center is a collaboration between West Virginia's Autism Training Center at Marshall University and the West Virginia Department of Education's Office of Special Education and Student Support. Today, we've asked our Eastern Panhandle Behavior Support Specialist, Tiffany Hendershot, what is your favorite slide to present on? Hi, my name is Tiffany Hendershot, and the slide I chose to talk to you about today is trauma in schools. And the way I like to explain to people how I learned about trauma in schools is imagine that you're standing along a riverbank and you see that there's a child drowning. So you swim out and you pull that child to the side. But then a couple minutes later, you see there's another child drowning. So you swim out and you pull that child to the side. Then you see there's another child drowning. So you swim out and you pull that child to the side. And as you're swimming out and you pull them to the side, you start looking at their faces and you realize that it's the same children drowning over and over again, day after day, and sometimes several times within the same day. So you start to feel really defeated and burnt out and emotionally exhausted. And you start to think, am I making any difference at all for these kids? And so as you start to walk away, you look upstream and you see, wow, there's a gate open. And as I did this job and I came to realize that the gate that's open is ACEs or adverse childhood experiences. And that's what's causing kids to fall into the river. At a previous job, I had an opportunity to sit in a room with about seven principals and they were from elementary schools and intermediate schools. And I introduced them to ACEs and I showed them the list of 10 things. And I asked them to think about that kid that comes to their office all the time that they see um, getting in trouble, that's been suspended a lot, that gets a lot of detentions. And think about that child and look over the list of 10 ACEs and tell me how many of those the children that you see the most have. And I gave them a couple minutes to look over it and every single principal in that room said that their score was at least a six if not more. And in some cases the child's score was the same as or even more than their age. And I was really shocked by that, and so were the principals, that you know kids so young have experienced more than a lot of us will experience our whole lives. If you can predict it, you can prevent it. And I always add to that, if you have a plan. So if you can predict it, you can prevent it if you have a plan. And I think it's important to have the whole school have a plan, right? The whole school become trauma sensitive and use a trauma lens. So somebody who doesn't have a trauma lens, whenever they look at a child with behavior issue, um, they might think, what's wrong with that kid? You know, do they have ADHD or really at the end of the day, a lot of times it's not ADHD and it's not a lot of these other things that we're diagnosing kids with. What it is, is they're having symptoms of trauma because it's behavior and behavior is a symptom. And so we can treat the behavior or we can dig a little deeper and we can see what's going on underneath the behavior. And if we do that, then a lot of times we will see that there's trauma. And so we're not looking at children and we're not saying like, what's wrong with you? Do we need to send all these kids now to get on ADHD medication? No, we need to look at them and think what's happened to you since school has closed, what's happened in your home. You know, the reason I want to talk about this with you today is because of COVID-19, you know, everybody's in their homes. There's a stay at home order and um, ACEs are going to happen. You know, I mean, it's part of life. There's a lot of stress right now in the environment with the economy and with the health um, and safety of everybody. And so we can expect that whenever we go back to school, children are going to have a higher ACE score than what they had whenever they left. I just hope that we will all take the time um, while we're not in school to learn more about trauma and to look over our school's policies and procedures and find ways that we can be more trauma informed. For more information on Tiffany's slide or on trauma, becoming a trauma-sensitive school, or resiliency, please contact us at www.marshall.edu/bmhtac.